I'm here with Mia, Kaylee, Maya, Macy, and myself from the Closet. Kaylee, tell us about your experience at the Closet. Working at the Closet has been so great. It's a student-led organization that uh, provides easily accessible clothing and toiletries to the community. Um, when we first started here, we were just like storing clothes, but as you can see, we've actually built a store now. Uh, we've been like setting up racks and putting the clothes on racks, sorting them into size, gender. Um, we've done Christmas drives, we've donated uh, decorations to various shelters throughout the community. Um, it's just been really cool to like know that we're making a difference in the community. Maya, what do you like about Learn, Lead, Serve? Honestly, Learn, Lead, Serve has been one of my favorite classes that I've taken at the high school. I know like a lot of the times when you take classes, you're kind of like, when am I ever going to use this in the real world? So I feel like this is really nicely structured so that half the week we are talking about very topical issues, things that are going on in the real world, so we can like kind of really develop a sense of, you know, need to go and change what needs to be changed. And then the other half of the week we are actually going outside of class and doing community service stuff that kind of makes you feel as though you are making a difference and makes you feel as though you can make a difference once you get out of high school. Macy, what do you like about your placement? I like that Wick Closet is very beneficial within our own community because we are easily able to provide and give back to those who need it with everything that we have in our store. And I'm here with the elementary school volunteers. Hi, I'm Maddie. I teach kindergarten at the elementary school. I'm Sam and I teach first in kindergarten. Tell me about your experience at the elementary school. So with the kindergartners, what we both do is we do sight words, so they pick a word for the week and they do sight word books with it, and we do letter recognition, making sure that they can sound out the letters, know what the letters are, know the letters in their name, they're able to write their names, and help them read. And for first graders, um, I help them write some sight words and some numbers as well. What do you girls like about learning sir? I like that well, obviously we get the service hours, but I also get to go to a site that I like to be at, so it's fun to get the service hours. It's not like how it is over the summer, like you're really harding to get them. But I also like that in the class we talk about a lot of like social justice issues, so it's not just one thing, like it's very open and there's a lot of different things that we're talking about, so it's always interesting. And then with any projects that we do, they're very open, so there's a lot of creative freedom to do whatever you want to really express your views on it. Um, I like that on Mondays and Wednesdays we're still in class, and then we can also go to a site and um, earn service hours. What do you like about your placement at the elementary school? I like going to the elementary school because my career path is to become a pediatrician, so I like working with little kids, so I feel like this was just a good opportunity to, you know, learn ways to communicate with them now, so when I go down that path I already have some knowledge on how to communicate with them and be friendly with them and learn that they are going to be okay with them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be pursuing an education in early childhood education, so I get to experience this. Alright, I'm with the middle school volunteers. I'm Stephen Kolchak. I'm with Mr. Grancy Middle School with Health, Physical, Physical Education, and I'm with the 5th, 6th, and 8th graders. I'm Mason Bow. I'm with the STEM program at the middle school with Mrs. Dardis. I'm with 5th and 7th graders. I'm CJ Kolchak. I work with the 6th graders in Mr. Sowell's evening and morning math classes. Tell me about your experience at the middle school. My experience with Mr. NC at the middle school is uh, with health, I'm basically a secondary teacher grading tests and handing out papers. But in physical education, I get to have fun with the kids and play all the sports, but also to teach them as well. In Mrs. Dardis' STEM class, I am very hands-on with all the students as they work through their projects and or papers throughout the classes, and I'm basically a teacher aide. Uh, with Mr. Sobel, I am now the tutor that the kids go to to ask questions before even Mr. Sobel himself, so I am more just helping the kids directly. What do you like about your placement? My favorite part of my placement is that I get to work with kids of all ages from 5th to 8th and help them understand, better understand health and physical ed education in a way that I did that helps it, that makes it easier for them. 
I just like to change the food viewpoint that I get uh, in these classes because I'm now the, the teacher of the class and helping them, so I'm not the student anymore. I'm now teaching kids and seeing what teachers go through during a class. I really enjoy making that connection with the students and being able to teach them something which I learned and now I can help them learn as well. What do you like about learning third? My favorite part about learning third is that there's not really many quizzes, it's mainly smaller and bigger projects, but also we get the freedom to discuss and go over topics that we usually wouldn't go over in other, other classes throughout our day. Yeah, uh, a big part of it is having that individualism as we go through our days because we have class one day and then we're out of class the next at a site where we chose and we wanted to go to. Yeah, I, I also think we really get the freedom to choose whatever we want uh, from as simple as a reading assignment to a completely different section of your week in which you're working with a completely different group of people to the next. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Tyler Fisher. Tell me about your experience at Front Steps Housing. Well, Front Steps was a very unique opportunity to help the homeless. Um, me and my peers, we went there and we set up bedrooms, uh, unpackaged and, and put, put stuff together. It was, it was nice. Teachers learn late serve. Uh, what is learn late serve? Well, Colin, I'm glad you asked me that. Uh, a lot of our juniors uh, look to get into our program. It's a service learning program that juniors have to apply for and interview for. Uh, it is a service learning program that offers three credits: um, social studies, which I teach. Mrs. Schultz teaches the English, and there is a component of community service as well. Uh, the core curriculum is uh, social issues, and those are taught on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then Tuesday, Thursday, our students are, are out at uh, sites, and they're at uh, a variety of different sites throughout the year. I hope that I'm here with Ms. Schultz, one of the other teachers for Learn, Lead, Serve. Uh, can you tell me what Learn, Lead, Serve is all about? Thank you for asking, Colin. Learn, Lead, Serve is a class for seniors. And basically what it is, is we look at social issues that affect not only the Wycliffe community, um, the state, the, uh, the country, but the whole world. And some of the issues that we study, we study poverty and homelessness, immigration, art is a force of social change, climate change, social justice. So everything is very relevant as a young adult in that curriculum that you would need to know um, when you go out and become a member, of, a citizen, a member of society, um, especially if you're going to vote. We try and make you an educated voter. Uh, so that's part of it. The other part is uh, fostering a love of giving back to community. It's very important that we leave a legacy now in our lives rather than when we wait till we're older. And so we use service as a vehicle for that uh, to give back to not only the Wycliffe community but also the surrounding communities. Uh, part of that is Wick Closet. We have Wick Closet that is part of our curriculum that is a site that is a store that this year's class really worked very hard to build and create. And we have not only helped families in need in Wycliffe, but also in surrounding communities people have come to help. So that is our main driving focus for service learning, is basically giving back to the community and also learning about our community and our world to make it a better place.